Hello students, welcome to my maths classes. Today we are doing class 12 NCRT chapter 5 that is continuity and differentiability and we are doing exercise 5.3 question number 9. Your question is find dy by dx if y is equals to sine inverse of 2x upon 1 plus x square. So in this we are going to consider our y is equals to sine inverse of 2x upon 1 plus x square. And first of all, we are going to simplify our inverse trigonometric function using substitution. So, we are going to put x is equals to tan theta. So, our function y will become sine inverse of 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. And we know that 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta is equals to sine 2 theta. So, we can replace this function with sine 2 theta. Now, we know that sine inverse of sine x, sine inverse of sine x is equals to x. So, we can write this as 2 theta only. And now, from here we can find the value of theta that is tan inverse of x. So, replace theta by tan inverse of x. Now, our function will become, in simplified form will become 2 tan inverse x. Now, differentiate with respect to x. We get dy by dx is equals to 2 into tan inverse x ka derivative 1 upon 1 plus x square. So, your answer is 2 upon 1 plus x square. Now, question number 10 is find dy by dx if y is equals to tan inverse of 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square. Now, to find the derivative of y, consider your y is equals to tan inverse of 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square. First of all, we are going to simplify our inverse trigonometric function using substitution. So, we are going to put x is equals to tan theta here. So, your function will become tan inverse of 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta upon 1 minus 3 tan square theta. Now, we know that 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta upon 1 minus 3 tan square theta. This is equivalent to tan 3 theta. So, your function will become tan inverse of tan 3 theta. Now, we know that tan inverse of tan x is equals to x for all x lying between open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So, first of all, we are going to check whether 3 theta lies between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 or not. Here, we use this. We know that x is lying between minus 1 by root 3 and 1 by root 3. So, we can replace x by tan theta. So, tan theta will lie in between minus 1 by root 3 and 1 by root 3. So, this implies that theta will lie in between tan inverse of minus 1 by root 3 and tan inverse of 1 by root 3. Here, tan inverse of minus 1 by root 3 is minus pi by 6. 
because theta the, the range of tan inverse x is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 negative for the negative value you have to find uh, theta in fourth quadrant and for positive value we uh, the theta must be in first quadrant so this will implies that 2 theta 3 theta if we multiply 3 we will get 3 theta will lie in between minus pi by 2 open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so hence your uh, this function is invertible and we can write this as e equals to 3 theta now we are going to replace theta by tan inverse of x so your y will become 3 tan inverse of x so this is your function in simplified form now we are going to differentiate this function with respect to x. We get dy by dx is equals to 3 into the derivative of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square. So your answer is 3 upon 1 plus x square. Your question number 11 is find dy by dx. If y is equals to cos inverse of 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square, where x is lying between 0 to 1. Now to find dy by dx, consider your y is equals to cos inverse of 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square. Now to find dy by dx, we are going to first simplify our inverse trigonometric function. For that, we are going to make substitution. Put x is equals to tan theta. So, your y will become cos inverse of 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. And we know that 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. This is equals to cos 2 theta. So, we are going to replace this function with cos 2 theta. Now, we also know that cos inverse of cos x is equals to x for all x lying between 0 to pi, close interval 0 to pi. So, we are going to check whether our 2 theta lying between 0 to pi or not. For that, we are going to use this. Since x is lying between 0 to 1, so we, are, we can replace x with tan theta. So, theta will lie in between tan inverse of 0 to tan inverse of 1. What is tan inverse of 0? That is 0 and tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4. Now, our 2 theta will lie in between 0 to pi by 2. So, 2 theta belongs to 0 to pi by 2, which is a subset of 0 to pi. So, hence it is invertible in this and we can write y as 2 theta only. Now, we are going to replace theta by tan inverse of x. So, our y will become 2 into tan inverse of x and this is our function in simplified form. Now, differentiate our y with respect to x. We get dy by dx is equals to 2 into the derivative of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square. So, your answer is 2 upon 1 plus x x square. Our next question is find dy by dx if y is equals to sin inverse of 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square where x is lying between 0 to 1. Now to find dy by dx first of all consider y is equals to sin inverse of 1 minus x square upon 1 
plus x square. Now, to simplify inverse trigonometric function, we can substitute x is equals to tan theta. So, y will become sine inverse of 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. And we know that 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta is equals to cos 2 theta. So we can replace this function at with cos 2 theta. Now sin inverse ke under sin lane ke liye we can use complementary angle. Sin inverse of cos 2 theta can be written as sin of pi by 2 minus 2 theta. Okay. Here we used cos theta is equals to sin 90 minus theta. Okay. Now we know that sin inverse of sin x is equals to x for all x lying between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So, we are going to check whether pi by 2 minus 2 pi 2 theta lies between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 or not. And for that, we are going to use this. Since x is lying between 0 to 1, so our tan theta is lying between 0 to 1. So, theta will lie in between tan inverse of 0 to tan inverse of 1. Tan inverse of 0 is 0 and tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4. So, 2 theta will lie in between 0 to pi by 2. So, minus 2 theta will lie in between minus pi by 2 to 0. And, agar aap pi by 2 add kar dete hai, then pi by 2 minus 2 theta will lie in between 0 to pi by 2. So, pi by 2 minus 2 theta belongs to 0 to pi by 2 which is a subset of minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So, it is also invertible in this. So, we can write our y as pi by 2 minus 2 theta. Now we are going to replace theta with tan inverse of x. So our function y will become 2 tan inverse of x. And this is y in simplest form. Now we are going to differentiate with respect to x. And we get dy by dx is equals to derivative of pi by 2 is 0. Minus 2 derivative of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square. So your answer is minus 2 upon 1 plus x square. Your next question is find dy by dx if y is equals to cos inverse of 2x upon 1 plus x square. Where x is lying between minus 1 to 1. Now to find dy by dx let us consider our y is equals to cos inverse of 2x upon 1 plus x square. Now to simplify this cos inverse function, we are going to substitute x is equals to tan theta. So y will become cos inverse of 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. And we know that 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. This is equivalent to sine 2 theta. So we are going to replace this function with sine 2 theta. Now using complementary angle sine theta can be written as cos 90 pi by 2 minus theta. So we are going to write sin 2 theta as cos of pi by 2 minus 2 theta. 
Now we know that cos inverse of cos x, cos inverse of cos x is equals to x for all x lying between 0 to pi. So we are going to check whether pi by 2 minus 2 theta lies between 0 to pi or not. For that we are going to use x since x is lying between minus 1 to 1. So replace x by tan theta. Tan theta is lying between minus 1 to 1. So theta will lie in between tan inverse of minus 1 to tan inverse of 1. Now tan inverse for negative value of tan inverse we know we ne want negative theta in the fourth quadrant and theta in the first quadrant. So this will be, uh, give you that 2 theta lies between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Now minus 2 theta lies between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. And pi by 2 minus 2 theta lies between 0 to pi. So pi by 2 minus 2 theta belongs to open interval 0 to pi which is a subset of closed interval 0 to pi. So it is invertible and we can write this as pi by 2 minus 2 theta. Now replace theta by tan inverse of x and this is your y in simplest form. Now different to find dy by dx differentiate this function with respect to x and we get the required value of dy by dx that is derivative of pi by 2 is 0 and derivative of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square. So your answer is minus 2 upon 1 plus x square. Your next question is find dy by dx if y is equals to sine inverse of 2x into root 1 minus x square and x is lying between minus 1 by root 2 to 1 by root 2. Now to find dy by dx First of all, consider your y is equals to sine inverse of 2x into square root 1 minus x square. Now to simplify this sine inverse function, we are going to make a substitution. Put x is equals to sine theta. So our y will become sine inverse of 2 sine theta into square root 1 minus sine square theta and square root 1 minus sine square theta is cos theta. Now we know that 2 sine theta cos theta is equals to sine 2 theta. So we can replace this function by sine 2 theta. Now sine inverse of sine theta. Sine inverse of sine theta is a sine x is equals to x for all x is lying between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So we are going to check 2 theta whether it comes in between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 or not. And for that we are going to use this. Since x is lying between minus 1 by root 2 to 1 by root 2. So we can replace x by sin theta. So sin theta is lying between minus 1 by root 2 to 1 by root 2. So theta is lying between sin inverse of minus 1 by root 2 to sin inverse of 1 by root 2. <clears throat> and the range of sine inverse function is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So for negative value of sine, ne for negative theta, we are going to, we have to 
uh, write minus pi by 4 in the fourth quadrant and for positive sine inverse it is pi by 4. So 2 theta is lying between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Okay. 2 theta belongs to open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 which is a subset of closed interval pi minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So it is invertible here also. So we can write this as 2 theta. Now replace theta with sine inverse of x and this is your function in simplest form. Now we are going to differentiate this function with respect to x and we get dy by dx is equals to 2 into the derivative of sine inverse x is 1 upon square root 1 minus x square. So your answer is 2 upon square root 1 minus x square. Your next question is find dy by dx if y is equal to sec inverse of 1 upon 2x square minus 1 where x is lying between 0 to 1 by root 2. And for this Consider your y is equals to sec inverse of 1 upon 2 x square minus 1. Now to simplify sec inverse function we are going to make a substitution. Put x is equals to cos theta. So y will become sec inverse of 1 upon 2 cos square theta minus 1 and we know that 2 cos square theta minus 1 is equals to cos 2 theta. So we are going to replace this function by cos 2 theta. That can be 1 upon cos square theta can be written as sec 2 theta. So, y can be written as sec inverse of sec 2 theta. Now, we are going to check whether 2 theta lies in the, we know that sec inverse of sec theta, sec x is equal to x for all x lying between open interval 0 to pi minus pi by 2. So, we are going to check 2 theta. We know that x is lying between 0 to 1 by root 2. So, your cos theta is lying between 0 to 1 by root 2. Being a decreasing function, if cos theta is lying between 0 to 1 by root 2, theta will lie in between cos inverse of 1 by root 2 to cos inverse of 0 and the range of cos inverse is 0 to pi. So this will give you pi by 4 and this will give you pi by 2. So 2 theta lies between pi by 2 to pi. 2 theta belongs to pi by 2 to pi which is a subset of 0 to pi except pi by 2. So it is invertible here. So we can write y as 2 theta. Now replace theta with cos inverse of x. So our function in simplest form is y is equal to 2 cos inverse x. Now differentiating with respect to x we get dy by dx is equals to 2 derivative of cos inverse x is minus 1 upon square root 1 minus x square so your answer is minus 2 upon square root 1 minus x square 